everybody, Christopher Green, AMTV Alternative Media Television. Please take a moment to like and share this video. It is absolutely important that you get it out to your friends and family because what I am about to reveal to you will be the greatest deception that the world has ever seen. The greatest lie and many, many will be fooled by their own eye, by their own eye. And I'm gonna reveal all of this to you in today's video. Woke up last night from a vivid electric, like a lightning rod, fantastical dream of which I could see with absolute abundance and clarity what is coming next, not just to the American people, but worldwide. And I'm surprised that I didn't see it before. My conscious mind did not want to connect these dots. And it was only until I had received this information and my unconscious mind was allowed to explore the reality of what's about to be happen, what's about to happen that I understood. I'm really surprised more people haven't seen it yet because this information has already been revealed. It's already out there, right? You know, the Dean Koontz book that talks about COVID-19 and the coronavirus. This information is also out there. It is in books, it is in predictive programming, and it's in movies. Note that I'm not saying this is going to happen. What I'm explaining to you could just be a metaphor, my dream, speaking to me, which I believe was received from him. It could just be a metaphor for what is about to transpire. And it might not manifest itself in a physical reality, although what I saw was very much in the presence of my own eye, my own mind, and my own sight. Millions of people around the world, billions of you tuning in are asking very critical questions right now, like, why am I locked in my home? Why is it, I just spoke with a friend of mine, he, I congratulated him on the birth of his wife, just had a new baby boy. And I said, how was the hospital? He said, it was great. They took our temperatures and checked us out before we were able to go in and my wife was to give birth, but he said, Christopher, there was no one there. I mentioned my brother, who's been fighting cancer for a bigger part of about a year and a half, also had to go into the ER for emergency surgery, and he is still in critical care. And he told me the same thing. There was no one there, Christopher. In fact, a report just came out from CNBC.com that says these ships, these medical ships on both coasts of our country are 90% vacant. And the hospitals they're constructing there's a new hospital that they're constructing right now in Washington, D.C. There's no one in them. Trump has even said this. Governor Cuomo out of New York City, who's recommending everybody wear a mask, says there's, there's just no one there and they have to reopen and restart the economy. So why, I'm going to reveal this information too, why have not more people connected these dots? Why are they only focused on what's just right in front of them? How come they can't see with their own eye, right? Because this is all out here. It connects all the dots. This giant mystery of why we're locked in our homes, why the world is at a standstill, why all of our attention is fixated on something they want you to see. So what do they want you to see? Why can't I walk on the beach? In my state, we can no longer walk on the beach. That just changed yesterday. I said, no more walking on the beach. Why do I have to be away from the beach? That doesn't make any sense. But I can go to a grocery store. Why are they evacuating the cities, the major cities right now? Why, are, why the vacant hospitals? Why did I read a report to you from Newsweek yesterday that suggested they are planning for evacuation plans with the Joint Task Force to remove the president, the shadow government, Washington, D.C., Congress, the Senate, our Supreme Court. Why? Why? See this right here? 
all these scribbles. I'll explain this to you in a moment. Right here, see that? I have never had a dream in my entire life where I am given specific dates, days, and a specific time. In fact, in my dream, I'm looking at my watch and I'm seeing the time and I'm seeing the day. Today is the 18th of April. So let me tell you about my dream. I'm driving, I'm back in Arizona, making a left turn and I look at my watch and see that it's 1.30. I look up at the sky and it is black. It is dark, the darkness of night. But I look at my watch, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Why is it so dark? Why, why is it night? Why is there a blackout? I keep driving. I notice cars in front of me have stopped. They've pulled over on the side of the road. Everybody's gazing. Men, women, children of all ages. There's a gentleman, I can see his daughter's face on his shoulder. She's a blonde. They're staring at the sky. I get out, discombobulated, stare up. And I see this. It's blue and gray. And it's a ship. Looks like a floating continent floating island that has taken up the entire sky. Now, look, I told you, I prepped this. Many of you are going to think this is fantastical. You're not going to believe it, but you must understand what I'm about to reveal to you is the greatest deception that the world will ever witness. And it ties in everything that is happening now, a global cover-up and a revealing of not the truth, but a deception. I spoke to you months and months ago. I was explaining to you that the Antichrist would reveal himself very, very soon. I've spoken for years, over a decade, about how the algorithms are taking over and this transhuman agenda, of which people like Ray Kurzweil of Google said that there will be a period of time when the AI, the artificial intelligence, has played so many chess moves in advance that its collective knowledge is greater that, than that of the collective knowledge of humanity. And that they've played a million moves in advance and they've figured out how to choreograph exactly what they want as they build the infrastructure, put satellites into the sky, and what they're doing right now, building a massive technological network on which it will operate worldwide, of which they're building at night, which is why there's a curfew in many places like the one that I am currently residing at. So let me give you the specific dates that I was told that this will occur. 420, April 20th to April 21st, next week. Today's Saturday, the 18th. This is Monday and Tuesday of next week, happening soon. Just like Governor Cuomo said, this can't go on for much longer. You can't shut down the entire world for more than a month. People are going to start to, to panic. They don't have money. They, they don't have food. Notice that FEMA warned months ago. I did reports on this to store six months of food and water. Well, now we know why. Now we know why they were warning all of us about this. The dates I was given, Monday 420 through the 21st, April 20th to 21st, Monday and Tuesday of next week, at approximately 1.30, 1.30. Now, when I woke up, well, I wasn't myself. I had to transcribe all of this, and I'm going to explain all this information to you. This is all the information that I was told to write down. The sky is black. The first thing I noticed was I was home in Phoenix. I make a left-hand turn and I look at the sky and what I see is this. A ship an invasion, a hovercraft, slightly moving but stationary, ho hovering. You know, in the Bible, they say men's hearts will stop. Men's hearts will stop. Didn't have my cell phone on me, of all things, in the dream, so I couldn't take a picture. This is even tough for me to explain. So what, what, am, I, what am I getting at? 
Have you heard of Project Bluebeam? We've been predictively programmed by movies, Independence Day. Uh, this is why Donald Trump explains everything. Donald Trump, notice that there's been many UFO disclosures in recent months and recent years. The Navy has admitted it. They've released information to the American public. Donald Trump has instituted a new unit and branch of the United States military called the Space Force. All the technologists, all the technology companies and billionaires, where do they spend all of their time? They're going to space, they're building rockets, they're planning on colonizing Mars, they're building the grid, Elon Musk, self-driving cars, the list goes on and on. I, I've spoken to this of years. These people have already merged with the machine and the transhuman agenda that has become this Borg. They're rolling all of this key infrastructure out now. The satellites, the SpaceX satellites. Again, the network is going live now. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It is operational now. What they're going to project in that sky is a hologram. It's not going to be real. It's an illusion. With it is going to bring new technology, advancements in science and healthcare. We're going to get the vaccine that cures the virus. It's going to cure cancer. It's going to cure diseases. They're going to promise you that you'll live forever. It's going to be the God that they roll out to control the masses, to deceive the people. This is the Antichrist rising. It ties and brings everything into their agenda. Many of you know in the Bible, Jesus' disciples, if you look at the book of Matthew, which I was reading the other night, his disciples say, Lord, why are you speaking in parables? He says, because the multitudes, they, their eyes are open, but they don't see. Their ears are open, but they don't hear. The elites are going to speak to the masses in the parable of a hologram and an illusion in the sky that will be projected on a large screen like a movie theater. They have the technology to do this. This is why they're spraying. You've heard of harp, all these kinds of things. Notice there's a lot less chemtrails in the sky right now because there's not as many planes in the sky. It's why they're taking your kids out of school because they no longer need to educate your children. They're gonna promise them a future of downloading all of this to their brains, a transhuman agenda. You'll upload 10 languages. You'll have all the knowledge. They're going to tell you things like you're going to be superhuman, but the reality is the surveillance state grid of the future that they're building of total societal, social, and modern Monetary control will not give you superhuman abilities, but make you subservient and subhuman to them and the beast and Satan and the Antichrist that will promise to fulfill you in all of these ways. This is the greatest deception. It is what our Lord wanted me to tell you so that you would understand, so that you would be awake, that you would understand that you are about to be deceived. It's not real. Now, I understand fully that this sounds crazy. It sounds nuts. It sounds ludicrous. Most of you are not going to believe me. Again, I'm only relaying to you what I saw. I'm only explaining my dream to you, my vision, what I saw. I'm not pretending to be a prophet or have special knowledge or special information. I'm simply detailing exactly the warning that he wanted me to deliver to you tuning in because many will see with their open eye, their eyes will be open, they're going to see, but they're blind and they're going to believe it. Notice how Trump calls it the invisible enemy. The virus, it's the invisible enemy. Why? Because it's aliens. It's the hologram. And by the way, I don't think Trump is in on it. I don't think he knows. I actually agree with David Icke and others. I support Donald Trump, his administration, but he's not privy to this information. It is a tightly woven cabal of key individuals. Trump will actually believe that he's fighting. And, and I don't see an invasion, although it looks like that. It will strike men's hearts with fear. There's going to be panic and uh, in the cities, this is why the vacant hospitals and all these kinds of things. I don't see that. It's just a grand illusion to connect the dots of the AI program as they roll out this grid. Notice they're keeping you in your homes because they're pre-programming you 
to start understanding so you believe that you don't need people because they're going to be plugging you in via your head and your cell phones and all of this technology, just like the movies, The Matrix. The virus is the invisible enemy. It was my subconscious, unconscious mind. Now, I want you to think about for yourself. Don't believe anything that I'm saying. Again, this could just be a metaphor for the truth of what's about to happen and transpire in the coming days in America and worldwide. Think about every question you have right now, every critical question. Just think outside of the box with me. Just think about my dream. Think about Project Blue Beam. Look, look it up for yourself. Tracking, telekinesis, the ability to speak without speaking, just mind control, and all these kinds of things. Ask every critical question that you have about the virus, the shutdown, the worldwide lockdown, the agenda, the inoculation agenda, Big Pharma working on vaccines and all these kinds of things. Ask every question that you have critically in the context of what I've just shared and explained with you. And you'll see every single question checks off and plays a part of the agenda, of the illusion, and the hologram we are all about to witness. And every knee will bow to the Antichrist because people will believe it. They're also going to roll this out, I believe, because it will. people will question their faith. They'll question the validity of Christ. And I, I think that is the reason why he wanted me to make this video because I want you to know, even if this doesn't happen, but if it does, if my dream transpires, understand it is deceit, it is deception, it is lies, it's not real. That's why they have you in your homes. That's why you can't go on the beach. People are wrong. I've, I've, I've seen that people, I can't believe no one's talked about this yet. They just can't see it. People have been saying it's a comment. Comet Atlas, I think it is. No, it's not a comet. It's Project Blue Beam. It's the alien invasion deception. I've talked about this before. This is a new news. There's a book on it. I've never read the book. I just know what's going to happen because I've seen the knowledge in my own mind. Again, a lightning rod, a dream and a vision that was in high def, full color. I can see the faces of the men and the women. I can see the aircraft. I can see the spaceship. I can see the UFO. Again, they've been revealing all of this information in plain sight. What do you think 5G is? What do you think these towers are for? What do you think the satellites are for? It's a mass AI, artificial intelligence, grid system of total control. They're going to project via a hologram. I believe, this is what I saw, an alien invasion. And people will bow. Again, the AI, it's, it's, we've, it's already exceeded all that is human consciousness. And not consciousness, but knowledge. And it can manipulate and control each of you tuning in at such a fundamental core level. That's why they haven't turned these phones off. It's absolute control. It's a hologram. I took a note. I don't know why I wrote this, but I'm just reading to you. I said the virus is airborne nanobots flying into our bodies, right? It's why they want to chip you, right? Because that connects to the grid. A family member of mine almost woke me up a couple nights ago. What they saw in our sky was very cloudy, and it didn't seem like a natural lightning storm. But there was blue lights flashing all above the sky. And they almost woke me up. They just decided not to because I guess I was peacefully sleeping. They're building the infrastructure out at night. Many of you, I'm not the only one saying this. You're aware of this. You're being spoken to by the Holy Spirit as well. You know what I'm telling you is the absolute concrete, hardcore truth. Again, the Antichrist is going to speak to the American people in a parable that they can understand. People will not be able to deny what they see with their eyes because their eyes, even though they're open or blind, they don't see the truth. They want you to question. This is what Satan wants. He works in lies. The biggest lie Satan ever told was he doesn't exist. It's all about deception. It is all about convincing the American and the global populations to usher in the New World Order agenda of total societal control. The rollout of a new technology system of which a select few people know about 
are pushing this agenda, have already integrated themselves with the machine. They have become bored. They are already transhuman. This ties into everything trans, by the way. Read between the lines there. It's getting you used to this. It's getting you used to being in your home where you can't connect with real people, where you have to live in a digital infrastructure of which they're going to hardwire your brain. Again, they're not educating your children anymore at school because they, there's no incentive for them to educate your children anymore. Do you understand? The AI is far more, we, Johnny Depp did a movie on this, far more intelligent, so many steps ahead. It's played every option. It's played every scenario. It knows that this is the best, most deceptive way to roll out its master plan to take over humanity, to infect all of you tuning in, to steal and rip and tear your soul for, away from the truth where there will be darkness eternally and gnashing of teeth if you don't give your life today to Jesus Christ. Again, I know this sounds crazy. There's no incentive for me even sharing this information outside of the sheer fact that it's been spoken to me by the Holy Spirit to deliver you so that you have deliverance. So, so for those of you that, that, that are alive, that have been reborn in Jesus Christ, when you see this, you know and understand, and there was a very important message that he told me. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. It's a deception. It's an illusion. This is why they've been mobilizing the National Guard. There's been military mobilization. It's again why the ships on both coasts are empty. I believe that this is a vision from God that I'm describing to you. It's a vision because it is the greatest deception. And it hit me, I wrote this, like a lightning rod. Christ wanted me to tell you. He, want, he wants you to know. Again, I was given very specific dates. April 20th, April 21st, next week, Monday and Tuesday. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Like I said, this might just be a metaphor. What I am certain is this is the truth, though. This is the truth. What I'm describing might be happen in physical reality, but might just be a metaphor for the rollout of the agenda and the technological footprint that they're engineering to take control of you, humanity, all around the world, to deceive you, to sell you the lie and the con that you will be superhuman, that you need these machines, that what I'm broadcasting on behind me has an apple with a bite taken out of it. <laughs> None of that has happened for no reason. These are all signs. They want all eyes in the sky. That's why they have you in your home. They don't want the cities populated right now. They want everybody in their home locked down, secure, immobilized. That's why I can't even walk on the beach because they want your eyes. In the sky. Don't take my word for it. Research this information for yourself. Again, I saw blue and dark gray, ominous spacecraft. Those were the colors, the emotion, the raw emotion that I wrote down. It was awe and amusement, disbelief. He didn't show me, God didn't show me what happens next. He just showed, he showed me the event, the jaw drop, the dro jaw dropping, the children, the fa like I said, I can still see the faces. I woke up at approximately 3 a.m. our time here. My heart was pounding. I, I had to get up. My brain waking up two-way thought control, telekinesis. I'm just reading some of my notes. This is why all the UFO sightings recently, why they're revealing this information, why we've seen these reports come from the Navy. The recent admission, Trump Space Force, the new branch, the military, 5G, satellites in the sky. They're launching all these in the sky now. Read about SpaceX. Read what they're doing. Now, how are they going to project the hologram? You've probably, some of you have studied this. You can read this from Harvard. They take seawater, ocean water, and other types of chemicals, and they spray our skies. Okay, they spray the skies to do what? Block out the sun because of global warming, right? Global warming. That's how they're going to project the illusion. 
That's how they're potentially going to project this hologram that I'm describing. Big technologies, the only essential services, you know, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, record profits. They're all working on space projects. They're all in on it because this is the transhuman merger. It's the agenda of the Antichrist, and he will be revealed soon. This is Project Bluebeam. It is live and operational now. This is the truth about the virus. This is what the virus is. The virus is AI. Do you understand what I'm telling you? The virus is Satan. The virus is the Antichrist. They can amplify it or curtail it. They can amplify it or curtail it. Every critical question or thought that you have, asking why you're in the current state that you currently are in, if you ask it under the framework of what I'm telling you, it all connects and it all makes sense. It is perfectly logical, but most won't see it because their eyes are open and they cannot see. Again, most people need to be spoken to in parables. It was only Jesus' disciples that were privileged, privy, and enlightened enough to have the key information. Tracking technologies, mob control, 3D holographic and voice tech. This is why they've been putting all the Amazon devices and Google devices inside your homes. Again, it's all one big tracking surveillance grid. That's what the infrastructure is. They're building it at night. I went to bed, and I'll probably close with this. Please share this video, speaking a little bit out loud, saying why, I was asking a family member of mine, you know, there can only be so many options here, and they, there's no logic behind them. And I went through them. And the one that I couldn't see was the one that I don't want to see. Do you understand? It's what my conscious mind doesn't want to realize. I don't want to be telling you what I'm telling you. I don't want to see it. But what's Freudian about it. It is actually the truth. You see? It's the truth. No one's talking about this. So I went to bed asking these questions. It was revealed to me. Jesus will save all of us, by the way. He's coming back. It's a vision. This is why I wrote this down. It's a vision that I had to warn you. It's why he spoke to me. It's why he gave me the specific dates next Monday, Tuesday. The actual time, 1.30 p.m., I could see it as clear as night as day in high definition, true color. That's why. Do not lose faith. Pray to him. Realize this will be the biggest deception the world has ever seen. That's also why I'm here.